Dollar renminbi above seven now is a big deal because it comes at the height of tensions between the US and China in terms of trade. Take a look at this chart showing dollar renminbi back over the last 10 years. 2015-16, Chinese authorities spent about a trillion dollars trying to prevent dollar renminbi moving above seven. Last summer, when we we're close to that level, there were a variety of new measures designed to prevent seven being taken out, but now we're above it. Yesterday, Donald Trump called this move a major violation and later in the day they formally designated China a currency manipulator. There are two big concerns here for the markets now. The first is for investors. They can add the risk of a Chinese devaluation to their existing concerns that the Fed isn't going to do enough to avert the slowdown with deeper easing and also the risk clearly of escalating trade tensions following the announcement that tariffs will be broadened to the entire range of Chinese exports to the States. The second implication is that it brings forward the risk of FX intervention from the White House to weaken the dollar. The White House wants a narrower trade deficit and a weaker dollar is a route to achieve that. The fact that China is deemed to be manipulating its currency for trade gains perhaps makes the chances of a White House weakening of the dollar slightly more likely.